Hi guys, Andy here, messing about with the diesel heaters in the garage again. Today I'm going to show you how I'm getting free hot water using waste exhaust gases from my diesel heater. Well if you've got one of these heaters you will know how hot this exhaust gets. You cannot touch it when the heater's been on for a few minutes. And this is just wasted energy, so I'm tr just trying to make use of it. So what I've done here is I've got uh, an exhaust extension pipe uh, for one of these heaters and I've put it, coiled it round going through this empty gas bottle, uh, coming out the other side and going out the wall. There you go, you can see inside the bottle. Put a little uh, tap there and uh, I've sealed where the pipes go into the bottle with uh, some of my favourite uh, epoxy resin putty. I'll just show, show you that. This kind of stuff. It either comes in these little pellets or, uh, or this epoxy resin like, piece of putty. And uh, that's, what, that's what it goes like. That's what it goes like when it's mixed. Um, Links to that in the description, but I always have to tell you about that because I love that stuff. I use it on absolutely everything. So there's a little uh, experiment, guys, we're messing about with today. Uh, full of water. So uh, we'll see how long that takes uh, to, to, to heat the water up. Okay, so we'll get the heater started. Um, I've got it running off the little 12 volt power supply there, so uh, switch that on. And as usual, wait for the heater to warm up and get started. But uh, yeah, I thought this could be uh, a good little plan uh, for heating water in your, your shed or your garage. Um, you know, it's absolutely free, guys. Uh, you know, it just might be useful to, to wash your hands in somewhere that where you haven't got hot water. So the heater's warming up nicely. Um, and while we're waiting for it to warm up, you could go and uh, click on the subscribe button so you don't lose me. Uh, so I've got quite a few of these uh, heater videos you might find interesting. So the heater's only been on three minutes and uh, it's a little bit of steam coming off the water already. And, uh, there's no uh, heat in the outlet uh, from the gas bottle. And this is outside where the exhaust exits the garage and there's, uh, there's absolutely no uh, nothing coming out of that exhaust, no condensation or anything. It's a, a two meter extension pipe by the way uh, with a couple of other pieces of exhaust done, probably adding up to about three metres in total. I love messing about with things like this. I'm not hurting anyone, am I? Well, I'll, uh, I'll give this about half an hour and I'll, I'll come back to it. Um, in the meantime, uh, I don't know if you've saw my other videos, but I've got one of these heaters heating my house up. Okay, so we're around the back of the house now, and in that box is uh, the diesel heater which is heating my house up. It's pumping hot air into my home. There you go. So uh, please take a look at my other videos uh, and find out more. Okay, so the heater's been on for about half an hour. Uh, the garage is nice and warm. It's only on setting two, uh, which is what I normally have it on. Uh, and you can just see the, uh, a little bit of steam coming uh, from the water. And uh, it's, it's, it's quite warm. I'll just feel the outlet of the uh, exhaust pipe. And that is stone cold, which is telling me that the water is taking all of the heat energy out of the exhaust gases. But yeah, there you go guys, that's, uh, that's heating up nicely. 
And uh, if you think of the, the possibilities of this, uh, you know, somewhere like a little bit off grid where you might need some hot water, um, a shed, an allotment, stables, uh, camping, wherever, um, you know, a nice little bit of uh, hot water would be really useful and free, free as well. Yeah, I know some people say, oh, it's not free, it's not free. Well, that exhaust gases would be going straight out the hole in the wall there if it wasn't passing through that water first. That's free to me. I'll just put the lid on and uh, we'll, we'll come back to this in a while. Um, one other thought I did have, it could be useful in certain circumstances to have a little diverter. Uh, you might not want the exhaust gases going into the water all the time, um, particularly say if it got too hot and it was gurgling away, it was quite annoying. You might want to divert the gases through a little like Y section and I, I don't know, just a thought. But uh, yeah, please give me your comments guys, you know I always like the comments. Um, to read through through some of those and uh, you have some really good ideas and give me new ideas for another experiment okay so it's been on exactly an hour now we'll see how it's getting along oh and that water is hot that is really hot uh, i know i'm only uh, showing you by touch because i haven't got my thermometer here uh, but that is like really hot um, and yet still the exhaust coming out of the gas bottle is absolutely stone cold um, and I know I said uh, I wasn't going to turn the heater up to uh, to full blast uh, I can't help it guys you, you know what I'm like I'm going to turn it on to 6 I've turned it on to 6 and uh, We'll see what happens. And straight away, upon turning the heater on to full power, there's quite a bit more condensation coming out of the exhaust. Well, I've had to open the door in the garage. It's just too hot with the, with the heater on uh, full blast. As I've said, it, I, I normally have it on, it's like a double garage. I normally have it on about setting one or two, just, just ticking over, it's plenty hot enough. But on six, it's just ridiculous. It's like. Like I said, I've got the garage open, and that water is it's simmering. Uh, the epoxy resin, that has got very hot there, and it seems slightly, uh, but I mean, you wouldn't normally uh, expect to get that up to that kind of uh, temperature, but um, that water is simmering. And interestingly enough, the, uh, the outlet pipe from the, uh, the, the gas bottle is still cold. It, it, there's like a teeny bit of warmth, but like, like nothing, guys, honestly. So it proves that the, the water is still taking all of the heat energy out. And look at that. Yeah, that is... That is hot, hot, hot water. Oh, I'm going to turn that down now. But uh, think about the possibilities of this, guys, and different uses. Uh, please keep, keep your comments coming in. As I said, I, I, I love them. Uh, and it gives us all different ideas of how we could use similar things in our own uh, different circumstances. I think that will uh, conclude our little experiment today. Um, thanks very much for watching. Uh, please go and check out my other videos and subscribe to the channel.